my beautiful souls, and welcome to the Hawk and I. Before we came into the physical world, up in the spirit dimensions, we decided on what kind of journey we were going to have, lessons that we needed to learn to help our soul evolve. We also made agreements with certain people, soul contracts. Now, some people say to me, Lana, there's no way I would have signed up for this kind of gong show or these kind of lessons. And spirit always smiles and nods and says, yes, you did. This is what you signed up for. This is what you chose. And it's to help your soul evolve and learn. And some journeys and some lifetimes are harder than, than others. When it comes to our soul contracts, we did make agreements with people to come here and learn together. Other souls agreed to come here and help us. And that help is meant to teach us, help heal us, and help us stay in the direction that we're meant to go in our learning. Now, when you think about the people in your lives, there are many different types of people that are there. There are people that are there long-term and there are people that are there short-term. Soul contracts can be a lifetime. They can also only be an hour or a moment or a couple weeks. They don't have to be your entire journey. And when you think about the people that have come in and out of your life, what have they taught you? What was the lesson? And does it seem to repeat? Do you have people or the same theme going on? Have a think. The soul contracts that we make have very valuable lessons in them. And one of the greatest things that spirits talks to me about when it comes to soul contracts is understanding that quite often there is a time where the lesson is allowing people to go. We're not always meant to journey with people forever. Sometimes they're only meant to come in for a short time. We teach them or they teach us or perhaps we've taught each other. And at the end of a soul contract, spirit always says, Lana, you know, you humans struggle so much with allowing people to go. Sometimes people are just meant to do something different on their journey. The contract is over and they need to move on. But as humans, we seem to struggle with that concept. And quite often the relationships start to get a little mucky and the little water gets a little murky. And we struggle with behavior stuff because we just can't seem to let them go. And it's really interesting to kind of look back on certain relationships where you just ref in reflection, you think, yeah, there it is. There's the moment where it needed to end. And because either both held on or one held on, the contract got extended and things got a little bit mucky because sometimes we think that we need to have a hurt in order to let things go. And it's really interesting to kind of be able to process that and be able to look at relationships and be able to say, I feel the contract is over and this person needs to move on or I need to move on and it's okay to let people go. We're not all meant to journey with forever. And I know that a lot of, a lot of that can bring some, some heartache and some pain. But when you look at what you signed up for and the lessons that you were meant to teach each other, when you look at the beauty in that, when you look at how somebody came into your life and there was some teaching and some soul growth and some development there, and now they're meant to go on and you're meant to go on. There's just so much beauty in that. There's, there's just so much love in that. It doesn't have to be, you know, a painful or a, a traumatic release of them. And even in the painful and traumatic releases, there is learning in that, that you need to kind of work through and process. The soul contracts that we make are meant to guide us and help each other. We're here together. There is a oneness and we agreed to help each other out. You can have soul contracts with people for more than one lifetime as well. I have had experiences with some regression work that this person came into my life more than one time on different lifetime experiences to teach me the same lesson that was repeating itself. I didn't quite get it the first time around. So we made a new agreement to try and learn it again. And that is okay. It's We beat ourselves up when it comes to the lessons and when it comes to understanding the soul contracts. And it's just about understanding the journey of learning.
The soul contracts that we make are meant to guide us, heal us, teach us, and they're a glorious thing. And letting people go sometimes is, is magical. It, it really is magical when you look at each soul has its own purpose and its own learning. I hope you enjoyed a little bit more knowledge on soul contracts. And I do hope that you are enjoying this YouTube channel. And if there are any topics that you would like to hear about, please message me or comment in the comment section. I am wishing you love, light, blessings, and a spirit guided day.